Why, hello internet. Uh, I figured it was time to do a little bike check. This is my 2021 Kona Big Hanzo DL and it is a 27 and a half plus tire kind of, I don't know, trail down and I'm not going to say downhill, trail type of bike, uh, hardtail of course. I have done a couple things to this, uh, but before I mention what I've done, I might as well just start off with what it came with, right? So um, there are three things. Well, let's see. Let me count this again. One, two, three, four. Okay. Four things on here that I would consider, uh, five uh, things that I would consider custom to this bike that would not be on a factory Kona Big Hanzo DL build. And I, I might not have mentioned this was the DL. So the DL, I think, is deluxe. It has a little bit higher end components on this. Uh, so let's just kind of start with the basics, right? It's a Shimano Diori system. So 1x9 Diori rear derailleur, 12 speed uh, Diori front crank, uh, Diori crank. Um, it had some plastic pedals on there. Um, I'll get to those in a bit. It's got a Transex dropper post. I don't remember the millimeter of this, but you can see it's um, it's it's decent, right? Uh, it's I, I find it sufficient. Whatever it is, it's it's sufficient. I'll go with that. Uh, Kona stem. Um, <clears throat> it actually came with the RockShox 35 front fork, and you may notice that there's no decals on this. So this is one of the upgrades that I've done. It also came with 160 rear rotors 180 uh, 180 front also uh, shimano um, hydraulic uh, dropper post of course from Trent with the transx uh, lever and the i believe this is just a diori yes also a diori um, uh, shifter okay and then of course uh, a kona seat uh, which is this actually made by wtb i can't tell it might be a wt a kona branded wtb I, the lighting right here is Anyway, it's a it's a seat. I see. Does it say? Yeah. I don't know. Um, all right. So so what do we got here? Upgrades. So I've done six upgrades on this thing. The day I got it, of course, was replace the plastic pedals that come with these with uh, a different set. So these are fixations. Um, they're still pretty smooth. Uh, orange, of course. I really wasn't a big fan of the teal and orange color combo to be honest but i did like the ride the way that this bike rides um and of course there is a whole bike shortage so i just kind of went with what was available and uh, i don't regret it uh at all however there were definitely a couple things that i wanted to change out first of course would be the pedals and that's a very personal item uh, i think everybody that buys a bike probably needs to get rid of the cheap plastic uh, platform pedals and go to you know either a better platform with more grip or uh, possibly a clipless if you're a little bit more advanced okay so that was number one the second thing I did was I changed the grips so these are PNW loams and the reason I changed to the PNW loams is because I was getting uh, some pretty bad hand fatigue and my hands would go numb um, so that was kind of the first thing I did it helped out a little bit, uh, but not a lot. So I made another big choice here and I replaced the entire bar with a one up carbon 35 mil rise bar. Uh, the bar that came on this was only a 20 mil rise. So this has given me approximately, you know, 15 millimeters um, more upward. I don't know if sweeps the right word, but it's, it's 15 millimeters taller in the front so it's a little bit more relaxed position now i then did a pretty major upgrade with the fork so you can see that there's no stickers on these forks right now but if you look here these are the stickers i took off what does that say pike yeah so this is a 2021 um for 2020 2020 or 21 gosh now i forget so it is a 2020 RockShox Pike Select. Now the original fork that came on here was the RockShox 35, which was a 130 mil uh, travel. This is a 140 mil. Um, and because it was more travel in the front, it pushed the front up 10, more, 10 mil. Uh, so I ended up removing 
Uh, and actually by chance, the previous owner of this fork had cut the uh, stem. So I had no choice other than drop um, the reduced spacers on the top here on the stem to make up for that 10 mil. But it's all good because the, for, the uh, handlebars that I put on were 15 millimeter rise. So when it all comes down, the plus 10 millimeter in the suspension travel minus the 15 millimeter or so I lost in the stem because of how short it was cut, uh, plus the 15 millimeter rise in the bars. Now I came up with still like plus five or 10 millimeters uh, higher than what the uh, original position was from the factory. So overall, still uh, a very good position. Feels very comfortable going down. Uh, this bike actually climbs really well. I was kind of concern concerned that between the taller bars and uh, the additional uh, travel in this front, that it would want to lift a lot under climbing and it, it doesn't this thing just hauls ass up climbs right um i'm not saying it's gonna you know beat the all-out cross-country bikes up the hill but uh for what it is and what it weighs and it is an aluminum frame mind you uh, it, it moves out pretty good and these 2.8 tires uh i think they help out quite a bit um when you when you hit you know the the rough stuff also when it comes to tires i just uh, had these converted to tubeless, which is also pretty cool uh, because I think I'm running like, I don't know, 15 to 18 pounds or something like that in them. Uh, so very cool. All right. So what's next? Uh, let's get to that here. Let, you know what? Let me cut. All right. Bam. Ah, that wasn't the smoothest cut, but hey, would you look at that? The gum walls with this color combo. I think I'm feeling it. I think I'm feeling it. Um, unfortunately, these tires and wheels aren't going on the Kona. They're going to be going on something else. Another build that I've got going on right now. Um, but, you know, I do think they're going to look good. So, so what this is telling me is I really need to get some gum wall tires on this Kona. Because, I don't know, I think the gum wall kind of goes well enough with the orange going on here. With the green. Yeah, I like that. All right, so, uh, hey, we might as well segue into the, the next project, right? Let me grab these things. Ah, all right, so, I'm gonna just put these here and here and kind of admire it some more, but, you know what I need? I need a bike stand. Now, if you guys have caught on to it yet, but it's right in there. All right, you see it? It's those fatty 200 mil SRAM rotors up from the 180s. So that purpose, the purpose of that is really just to get a little bit more bite um, on the front. Yeah, I could have changed the, uh, could have changed the pads, but I figured I just wanted a little bit more heat dissipation and thermal capacity. And you're only really going to get that with the bigger rotor. So out with the 180, in with the SRAM 200 mil, uh, it's, it's this guy right here, right? So in order to put this on, I had to get an adapter. It's, nope, not those, it's, uh, it's this one. It was the, um, where is it? SMMA 90 F203 hyphen P slash PM. That's it, right? So you can see right there, for front 203 P slash PM mount. Okay, uh, so those are the big upgrades for this bike, as I just mentioned. Bigger rotor, the Pike 140 mil select, the one-up carbon bar, the uh, PNW loam grips. Oh my gosh, I completely missed. I completely missed the Wolf's Tooth dropper. All right, there we go. So I was having issues with the Trans-X dropper uh, lever that was on here, and my issue was that the cable on the back of it kept coming out it wouldn't hold so i needed to uh change it and i guess the uh, the the cable uh the way the cable is secured on this wolf's tooth one is good so um yeah no problems so far um what was it what was it what was in the pedals right pedals dropper lever carbon bar little pnw loam grips pike and larger rotor so quite a lot of change going on on the front of this Kona Big Hanzo 
Um, let me kind of touch for a moment on the carbon bar. The reason that I changed over to the PNW carbon bar wasn't because of comfort or necessarily wanting more rise, but I did opt for the 35 anyway, and this was before I got the pike, so I didn't know that I was actually gonna be losing some spacers in the stem. It just kind of worked out that way. But uh, as I mentioned earlier, I was getting a little bit of fatigue and numbness in my hands. And uh, so I, I swapped out the Kona grips that are actually now on this old truck here that I'm gonna be converting into a kind of a gravelly bike, which is why you see this brifter kind of sitting up here for the moment. And yeah, uh, more on that later. But, <clears throat> oh, you drop them, lose them, you, you, uh, you know what, let's set, let's set that over there. Okay, so I was getting fatigue and numbness in my fingers and my hands were going numb. Um, so I, I swapped out the grips, that helped a little bit. Uh, they still ended up going numb. I got some, um, what's, the, what's the brand, one up, hand up, something like that, gloves. Uh, those helped out a little bit, but I was reading about the bars and the larger carbon bar, specifically the one from uh, One Up Components, was supposed to be designed in a way, uh, something about the way that they've got this like oval design here, that it helps absorb a lot of vibrations. And while my hands still do go uh, a little numb and get some fatigue, mainly the numbness on longer rides, uh, I can ride a lot longer on this bike with this bar uh, before my hands um, get uncomfortable. So that's an awesome win. And I think the bar was about 135, something like that, 140. So you know what guys, while we're in here, I got something to go on these front forks. Check it out. So I went over to this place, this site called Slick Graphics. There you go. Slick Graphics. Got it. Cool. And uh, it's pretty cool because they've got some slick designs where you can pick out graphics. Why am I not showing anything? So that place is pretty cool. So they're pretty cool because I could pick out some graphics that I wanted to put on new stickers. So I knew I wanted to go with um, some more color on this thing because I wasn't a big fan of the green. I picked out this oil slick um, design that has pike and of course rock shocks in orange to kind of keep with this theme. So I think it's gonna look pretty good. I've already peeled off the other stickers that were on this thing. So I'm gonna just wipe uh, the forks down and put these on, let's do it. So I can see where the old line was just cause it's got you know that line there from the old dirt. I'm gonna line it up perfectly, well, very close do it right here and I hope that means that when I put the uh, new one on it'll just follow that curvature pretty spot on um, and it will it will tell me it's in the same position as the factory one right wipe 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 <clears throat> wipe 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 all around Probably more surface area than I need, but better to have too much than not enough, right? All right, so same thing on this side. Nice and clean. Okay, I think we're ready. Um, just looking around, I don't see any grease or anything on there. So yeah, we're gonna say that we are a go. I just kind of want to blow it again. Again. Yeah, look at that, look at that. What are, you, what are you doing? You're getting oils on it. All right, you know what? <laughs> Sorry. We're gonna let it dry one more time. Okay, I'm kind of getting sweaty about this because a little bit of a perfectionist and I wanna make sure that this goes on perfectly. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna peel it off, hold the edges as far as I can and try to line up against that line when I put it down. Okay, here we go, here we go. Lightly like that. Is that, is that about right? Am I doing this right? Oh God. So far it's on there. All right, it's going on, it's going on. We're gonna try to, I'm gonna try to round it over 
Hey, all right. Woo. All right. Look at that. I think, I think we did it, guys. I think we did it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Looking pikey proper. Hey, 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 all right. Oh, yeah, let's, let's set this thing into position, shall we? All right, let's move this thing over here. There we go. Perfect. Get a good, good look at you. All right. What do you guys think? So you got the orange going down there with the stem, and then you're like, bam, pike, orange, oil spill. It's got the green. It's got the orange. It's got some purple that I don't have anywhere else. But then you got orange here. What else can I change up? I feel like, I feel like I need something else. I don't know. I need you guys to help. What am, what am, what am I missing now? Is it the gum walls? Would that complete it? Bam, is that better? Is that better? With the gum walls? Ah. I think gum walls are happening regardless. I think I might need to add a little bit of either green. I know we already got green. Maybe I could do a, lot, a light green, lime green. I think I need some more color here and I'm just not really sure what to do. The color that jumps out at me is purple, maybe a little bit of yellow. So I don't know, what should I do? Could I swap out these grips for some purple grips? I could, uh, pedals are easy, right? Swap out the pedals for, um, you know, a, a yellow or I don't, maybe yellow is not good. I don't know, Are we keeping it low down like that? Maybe yellow would work, purple could work. Um, not sure what my other options are. I mean, your typical ones are your handlebar, uh, your, your grips, um, your pedals, your, your seat clamp, uh, your stem. I don't like colored stems. I don't know. It's just me. Plus, I got these bars. I'm not switching out these bars again. Plus, it's carbon. So what are you going to do, right? Maybe I can do different color stickers on there. I don't know. Anyway, guys, let me know what you would do with this thing if this was yours. Uh, I definitely feel like I'm going to be doing some gum walls on here eventually. Uh, but beyond that, what do you think? How would you change it up? Well, guys, thanks for watching. I like showing off my bike. I like checking out your bikes when I find your videos. So... You know, thanks for watching, uh, and I'll catch you almost forgot. Guys, I'm going to build an XC bike. And this new XC bike is uh, not here. Of course, I'm building it, so that means I'm going to be getting a frame, and I'm going to be putting this thing together. So I've got some wheels. I've got some other parts over there. I've got some other stuff in a box. I've got some other stuff in the mail. And we're going to do a build. You know one thing I don't have? I don't have a bike stand, man. All right. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Check it out. I'm going to have some more coming up here pretty soon. Um, yeah. And thanks everybody for watching. I'll catch you all later. See ya.